Plenty of people have asked me to weigh in on this issue about the Washington Redskins. Honestly, I am with a lot of Native Americans that really don't care that they are called the Redskins, the Washington Redskins. I mean, the more I think about it, the more I see it as a little insensitive. But I don't take off offense to it. Personally, I think anything displaying Native American images and culture is preserving what we have fought to try to preserve. We are survivors, and those are evidence of our culture still surviving. I think if they do change their name and they still want to be affiliated with something Native American, they could be more specific than general and maybe choose a specific tribe or culture. Those are my thoughts on it. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about a pretty awesome story. A great story. A story that I love to see. Which is people standing up to the mob in the cancel culture that has invaded society where everybody wants to be offended by every little thing. Okay, Even if... Is something as silly as the name of a damn sports team, okay? And I'm talking about the so-called Washington Commanders, okay? Who now are facing calls to change their lame name, right? Back to the Redskins, okay? Now, YouTube, don't sue me, okay? That was the historical name of the team. The Native American group wants the team to be called that again, right? So I'm literally just quoting what the native americans are saying okay they gave me an r word pass right an r word pass okay but yeah you guys know you guys understand people that watch football the commanders i think they changed the name of the team after the whole george floyd thing okay now again i think that the name change was kind of coming anyways i think that there was a whole lot of talk about changing the name and I think that the George Floyd thing just kind of pushed them to just go ahead and do it, right? Because everybody was woke. Everybody was offended. And apparently they did it because, again, allegedly Native Americans were upset. They were offended by the term or the phrase, the name Redskins. Except now, three years later, uh, everybody hates the new name so much, the commanders, that even the Native Americans are calling to have the name changed back to Redskins. New ownership of the Washington Commanders, but now a lot of fans want the team to have an old, very familiar, maybe infamous name. Yeah, that's right. According to a very popular online petition, thousands of fans are hoping for a return to the team name that was in place for three Super Bowls and a whole lot of controversy. Josh Rosenthal's at FedEx Field tonight with the details and also with more. What do you think of the name Commanders? Um, I don't like it. Yeah, it's no secret. A lot of Commanders fans aren't exactly in love with the new name. I just don't like the name. I mean, it just seems like it doesn't make any sense. But while well, some are hoping for a new one altogether. Maybe Red Tails. You know, I think that's a Red Wolves. Even Warthogs would be better. Tens of thousands of other fans badly want the old name to come back. As of Tuesday evening, more than 69,000 people had signed this change.org petition, which reads in part, we believe that restoring the old name is the right decision for the team, its loyal fan base, and the legacy it represents. And I think they should go back to the original name. The team, though, isn't so sure. We reached out for comment, noting that members of the new commander's ownership group, including Josh Harris and Magic Johnson, have used the old team name multiple times in interviews since purchasing the team. In response, a spokesperson sent us a statement saying, for nearly 90 years, this franchise had a different name and fans and our new owners alike have fond memories of cheering for that team and watching it win three Super Bowls. Making a historical reference to watching and rooting for the team does not signify a shift, nor does it change the reasons for dropping the name. Would you have a problem with them going back to the old historic team name? Yes, yes I would. I just feel it's offensive. Although this might surprise you, the majority of fans we spoke with Tuesday at this grocery store near FedEx Field sounded like this. It's been the name always. Are you worried that, that people take offense to that name? No. Always known them as the Washington, whatever y'all know the rest. So, yes, I would look forward to that. 
Now, one thing worth mentioning, while the new commander's ownership group may not be willing to go back to the old name when previously asked about a name change in general, so just something different than commanders, they did not completely shut the idea down. Guys. Yeah, so you see now you heard that. Now, here's the thing. Um, there's been survey after survey after survey done. Okay, and this has been cited by the last <laughs> Kuka for Cocoa Puffs owner of this team, Dan Snyder, uh, before he got ousted <laughs> by the NFL. But we've seen poll out the poll out the poll done showing that uh, a vast majority of Native Americans are not offended. Okay, uh, the only people that were offended were woke white liberals, right? Who decided that, hey, we're going to virtue signal by forcing. Uh, a name change that nobody's asking for. Nobody asked for. Everybody was cool with the original team name, including a vast majority of Native Americans, or at least according to the polls, right? And at the end of the day, you know, it's not disrespectful to use the term, especially when you're using it to refer to a name. It's just a name, okay? You know, it's funny because I wouldn't be offended as a black person if you named a team um, you know, the such and such blackies, right? Or the such and such Negroes or whatever, right? I, I wouldn't be mad about it, okay? I wouldn't be upset. It's a name, okay? I mean, that that's just what it is. It's a name. But again, we live in a world where you have woke white liberals determining what's offensive, what's not offensive, and again, they tell so-called minorities how to think, right? What they should be offended by. But again, this group of so-called minorities, uh, they're based, right? These are base Indians or base Native Americans. Base Native Americans standing up to the mob. Okay, let, let's read about it because their um, their reasoning here is pretty cool. A Native American group has put the rush on against the Washington commanders and demanded the organization revert its name to Quote, Redskins, the name the team adopted when it was in Boston in 1933. The Native American uh, Guardian Association has encouraged fans to sign their petition, which is, quote, designed to promote our history, put an end to cancel culture, and hashtag reclaim the name, quote, Redskins. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that's what's happening. When you change the name Redskins, you are erasing history, okay? You're actually being offensive by changing the name, right? That's what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. The group said uh, more than 80,000 people have signed the petition. Quote, we invite all Americans to stand up for the dignity of every American under assault in today's increasingly nonsensical culture wars, the petition says. Quote, this line in the sand moment reinforces undeniable history of the Native American assisting the founding of America with Native American principles used by the founding fathers in the U.S. Constitution and every American's right to the First and Fourteenth Amendment and not to be targets of cancel culture or ESG. This is not a simple left or right issue for Americans. It reaches across the political spectrum dating back to our founding fathers. Again, this is based. This is one of the most based things I've ever read. Uh, the Native American uh, Guardian Association stands up for and is not only fighting back to preserve key elements of American history and the First and Fourteenth Amendment, Naga is fighting for the civil liberties of every American. Americans see they are losing their rights because of a vicious cancel culture that shows little care for uh, their concerns or civil liberties. It is time to support leaders, brands, and organizations who will stand with every American rather than fighting against them. Join our fight and show your support by pledging your donation today last week the group sent a letter to commander's leadership including new team owner josh harris team president jason wright and head coach ron rivera quote formally requesting the team revitalize its relationship with the uh, american indian community and rightfully change their name back to the redskins hey i support that bro i support that 100 percent. okay i mean they're already using the name internally right the ownership group uh they were doing interviews calling them the redskins so if that's the case, then again, like, I don't understand. Not calling them the, the name that they originally had, historically had, is just a virtue signal. Because internally, you refer to them as the Redskins. Okay? Again, it's just amazing how that works. 
And I also think that, yeah, if they do change it back, they should, you know, do what they can to support the Native American community. I support that, right? If they change it back, they should support, right? They should support the Native American community. More people buy more merchandise, okay? And, you know, they get a kickback. But see, again, this is just another example of what I was telling you guys about the difference between every other culture and black folks, right? And if this was black people, if you named a team, you know, the Washington Negroes or something, and you said, hey... You know, we use this as a way to, to celebrate black people in quote unquote Negro history or whatever. <laughs> black people would lose their minds, bro. They would lose their minds, okay? But you got other people, other cultures, right? They understand the power of something like this, how you can use this to actually benefit so called marginalized people or oppressed people. They see it as a sign of cultural dominance, right? of cultural appreciation, not cultural appropriation, okay, every other group of people, every other culture, they get it, right, black people don't, quote, you simply cannot erase history and target the Native American community by eradicating the name Redskins while being an organization that fosters other constitutional rights, including players who don't honor the American flag and kneel during our national anthem, the letter reads in part, the commanders didn't immediately respond to a request for comment from Fox News Digital. Yeah, because they're based, right? It ain't much they can say, okay, to some base Native Americans. Uh, former team owner Daniel Snyder changed the team's name from the Redskins to the Washington football team and later the commanders amid a summer of racial unrest in the U.S. in 2020. Yeah, he, he did it because, uh, again, of woke virtue signaling, right? Because of the George Floridification of America, which is honestly one of the worst things that ever happened to this country, right? I'm going to keep it 100 with you. Snyder said the name had, quote, increasingly become a distraction from our primary focus of football and made the change, quote, in the spirit of inclusivity, a.k.a. Uh, because white liberal elites <laughs> said that you need to do this, okay? Not because anybody was actually really offended. The commander's uh, team name debuted in 2022. Harris told ESPN the name change wasn't an immediate thing on the to-do list. According to ESPN, a team has to wait five years before it can be rebranded. The only exception is if a new owner comes along. Harris took control of the team last month. So, yeah, it's time to change the name back, right? I agree with the base Native Americans. Change the name back. Everybody uses that name behind closed doors anyways, right? When referring to the team, nobody's calling in the Washington Commanders. That name is lame, right? Change it back to his rightful name. The Native Americans support it. All Americans support it for the most part, unless you're woke. Um, and again, that's how it should be, right? That's how it should be. Stop canceling people. Stop trying to erase history. Stop with this silly cancel culture. Uh, we're done with this, right? That's basically <laughs> the moral of this story. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.